have never enjoyed a weekend like this. We have come to give thanks for a God that is a sun and a shield. See what grace has done. Look at the joy that was here. We are on a journey. It's a journey by grace. Many of us are passing through the valley of Baca when we are faced with the challenges of life. Lo and behold, the grace of God. Those who are saved by grace, they convene. Then His glory, the glory of God will certainly manifest. I have found a house where I get my grace and glory. Glory is the evidence of God's grace and God's favor upon you. Thank you so much for praying for me. I'm alive today because of the God's grace. Because of your prayers. The glory of God will create the pathways that I need. When they see the glory of God, they cannot but give you space. When the grace and the glory of God is upon you, there are people that will not know you. You will be changed. You will be transformed. You will become another man because the glory is upon you. As we walk today, we are walking, ministering in the glory of God. Save not the grace of God in vain. Don't have it, sit on it. We want that grace to begin to show itself up in something that will benefit all and sundry. The Holy Ghost is the carrier of the grace of God. You receive power of sonship, power to witness, power to cast out evil spirits. In this convention, if you receive healing, it shall be protected by the grace of God. I know I am protected because I am behind the shield. No matter how bad you have made your current situation to appear to you, God will get the glory from your life. Whether you're sick, it is terrible. Still, God will turn it for His glory. God is turned your situation around. Rise and shine, for the glory of God is risen upon you.